What's up coach? Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Now in today's video, I'm going to be walking through 10 popular niches for coaches that are looking to grow a sports training business. Now we have other videos on this channel that are, I would say like three ideas or five ideas. And what I'm doing is I'm taking a compilation of a lot of the ideas that personally I have done, right? So I've already done these types of things within my business, okay? And I've coached a lot of coaches now who've gone on to successfully do all of these things that I'm going to be sharing with you. So let's take action, right? If you're not gonna take action, these won't help you. If you try to look at all of these and do all of these at the same time, they will not help you. So this is one of those things where it's like, you wanna look at this, see what your strengths are, and be like, all right, this is gonna be the one that I'm gonna choose here. So let's go through this one by one, and I will give you an example for each one, all right? So this way, you're not just hearing information, you can hear a tactical example, all right? So the first one, this is one-on-one -on -one private training. Now, this whole channel has been really geared around one-on-one -on -one training, group training, uh, we've done all, all sorts of stuff centered around one-on-one -on -one training, how to charge more and stuff like that. But a good example is you have one client, they are on a subscription with you over a 12 month period of time, and that client is paying anywhere between $300 and $500 per month, right? So if you do the math, all right, I'm gonna take, and I have my calculator here, right? You take 300 times 12 months, that's $3,600. Then you just have to reverse engineer, well, how many clients could I work with and do I want to work with over the course of a year, all right? Let's say that's 20 clients, all right? I'm gonna take 3,600 times 20, that's $72,000, all right? If you have 20 clients that are paying $300 per month, all right, over a 12 month cycle. So I'm gonna do that again. So 20 times 300 equals 6,000 a month times 12 months is 72,000, all right? So that's the first example, is private one-on-one -on -one training. Now the next example is very similar, but it's not you training one client, it's you training two clients, all right? And if we use 300 as the example for one-on-one -on -one training, all right, I'll use 200 as the example for two-on-one -on -one training, all right? So that's you training two clients at the same time, all right? The way I could look at that is, let's say it's $200 per client per month, all right? Now you're not making $300 per month, you're making $400 per month because we have two clients who are each paying 200, all right? So let's do the math on this. Let's go back to the equation I gave you. Well, how many uh, sessions do you wanna work per week? All right, let's say in this example, you wanna work with the same amount of clients, all right? You want the same amount of clients. You want 20 clients, all right? Now you're going to be working 10 sessions a week because we're gonna take 20 and we're gonna split all of them up into groups of two, all right? So you have 20 clients, so we take 20 times 200, all right? That's $4,000 per month, all right? And we take that times 12 months, that's $48,000. Now, what's the difference between this example and the other one? Well, in this example, you're making more money per session. That's number one. And you're cutting your schedule in half, all right? And you're able to offer something that's more affordable compared to the $300 per month. I'm just using these as like simple scenarios here, okay? So you're gonna be generating more money, all right, for working less, Right? And I know if you look at the examples of 72,048, 72 sounds like more money, but you're working twice as much. Right? So if we work the same exact amount in this two-on-one scenario, and you worked 20 sessions a week, as you would in the one-on-one -on -one sessions that we talked about, all right, then we're gonna be able to take on double the amount of clients. So we have 40 clients all right, times 200, that's $8,000 a month times 12, equals $96,000 a month. So if you take $96,000, or sorry, 96,000 per year, not per month, all right? So if we take 96 grand, 
minus 72,000, all right, that's $24,000 difference and you would be doing the exact same amount of work. So I hope you can see how this works, all right? So option one is one-on-one -on -one training, great option. Like I started that option, it's, it's a great business model if you're starting, even if you're, you're looking to scale your business with other coaches, it's a great option. The two-on-one -on -one training is ultimately better for you if you're looking to save time, all right? If you're looking to save time, take on more clients, it's a great option, all right? The third uh, niche here is small group training, all right? all right? And all of these are different, all right? One-on-one -on -one training and two-on-one -on -one training are different, all right? Two-on-one -on -one training and small group training is absolutely different. Because a small group training, all right? I'm just gonna, again, use this as an example. You can have your pricing. Um, I know coaches right now who are charging up to $500 per month with small group training, all right? They're charging a lot but they have an awesome service. I know some people that charge $100 per month for that, all right? But I'm just gonna just use a very simple example here. It's 150 per month, all right? Let's just use that as the example. So small group training, in my opinion, when I think of coaches that I help that are doing this, they typically have six to eight clients in one group, all right? So let's use six as a scenario here, all right? So we take 150, all right, that's how much it is per client times six. That's $900 for one group per month. All right, we take 900 times 12 months. That's $10,800 for one group, All right? Then we take 10,800 and then we multiply that by however many groups that you wanna work with, all right? Then you'll be able to come up with the answer, this is how much I'm going to be able to generate over the course of the year if I have this many groups and they're all paying 150 per month, all right? This is a great business model. Uh, right now, the way I run my soccer training program, I'm not using that price that I just talked about, but this is the model that I have, all right? It's very simple. It's we have clients, we have multiple clients who show up to one session, set day, set time per week. It's all scheduled. There's no funny business. There's no, well, if we miss today's session, what are we gonna do? No, it's a very straightforward type of program, right? And kids also receive a lot of value outside of the session, right? But again, with small group training, now, I mean, if we had to actually just look at the amount of time that you're spending, you're spending the same amount of time that you would be in private training or two-on-one -on -one training, right? And with private training, if we use the example that I talked about of 300 per month, Essentially, you'd be making 75 per hour, but you're actually not because you're spending time driving, you're spending time planning the session, you're spending time communicating to the parents. You're not making $75 per hour in that scenario. You're making probably a lot less. And with my example of the small group training at six players, right, at 150 per month, that's 900. So if I take 900 divided by four sessions, because that's how many sessions you could be doing per month, right? Now you're looking at $225 per hour that you are worth, right? So you have more than doubled the amount of value and that you're putting on yourself, all right, for that hour that you're working than you would if you were doing one-on-one -on -one training. So again, I'm going in a depth here so you can see the actual numbers, all right? You can see the numbers here, all right? There's many coaches I'm helping right now. They have like five or six groups and that's their whole business, right? Their whole business is five or six groups. And then they do other stuff too. Like they'll do camps and clinics. I'm gonna talk about that here in a second, all right? But you can have a very simplified, small group training type of business, right? And it's also affordable, right? That's, that's more affordable. So it's probably easier for parents to commit to something like that, all right? Next one here, okay? This is something I used to love doing. I don't do it nearly as much anymore. This is number four, it's open group clinics. All right, so what is this? Well, it's very simple. This is set up to where you look at the calendar and you're like, all right, in a month from now on this holiday, I'm going to have an open group clinic. And if you have an email list, which is something I've talked about at nauseum on this channel, if you have a good contact list, if you have clients, uh, you can easily get, in my opinion, you can easily get 20 
clients to show up to an open group uh, clinic. And in my opinion, I think it's also very easy to charge anywhere between, depending on how long you do it. I like using the number 50 because $50 is very affordable for a two hour type of clinic. Um, and if, if you're looking to solve a very specific type of problem in that clinic, okay? So if we look at it, all right, and we just make it easy, right? Let's, let's make this simple. It's 20 people who show up, it's $50 for the clinic, all right? So we take 20 times 50, I already know the answer. All right, that's $1,000 for one clinic, all right? And if you break that down, if it's a two hour clinic, you're making $500 per hour, right? Now, again with this, what you're doing is you're leveraging your time, right? You're spending less time and you're able to impact more clients during that time, all right? That's why this is a completely different type of business model than the one-on-one -on -one training, the small group training, or the two-on-one -on -one training, right? You're, again, you're spending less time, all right? And this is more of an event type of thing. Um, a lot of coaches we help are doing the next one I'll talk about here, but I, like they're doing these one-off clinics multiple, multiple, multiple times per year. And you should be doing stuff like that multiple times per year. You just have to be really organized, all right? And that really stems into number five, all right? Which is open group monthly clinics, all right? So the difference with this is you're creating a subscription, all right? You have a subscription set up. And I'm just gonna use this as a very simple type of subscription, all right? Because you can have this set up to where if someone randomly wants to come, they can pay $100. If they want to join your clinic subscription that happens on a set day, set time throughout the month, or maybe again, it's just one, one clinic per month, it doesn't matter. All right, you can have that set up to where instead of them paying $50 for the clinic, all right, they could be paying, uh, let's see, you know, they could be paying $35 to be a member of your clinic subscription. Now, if that's the case, then we're just building up subscriptions throughout the month. And now we have an option. People can choose, well, I just want to come once or I want to be a member, all right? So you can build a membership based system off of clinics that you run. And that can be once a, once a month. You can run those every week if you wanted. Um, I know many coaches right now that I'm helping that charge between $100 and $200 per month, and they just run a, a clinic every Fridays. That's very common, right? Very, very common. Next one here, and this is also something I used to really enjoy doing. Don't do this as much anymore. I just don't have as much time, uh, is independent team training. Now, the easiest way I can explain this is when you put yourself out there more, when you start getting connected with other parents of influence, other, uh, other coaches, other organizations in your area, and you become someone who's well-respected, like, it's very simple to start working with teams outside of their own team session, right? Because we know teams will have practice I would say at max right now, depending on the level of the kids that you're working with, um, two or three times per week with, with their own team. And if you're able to solve a problem that, they're, that their coach is unable to solve, then now you're able to get that team to come train with you, right? And again, with that, you're, you're treating it very similar to small group training, but you can have a, a price for team sessions, right? And I would run it very similar. I'd, I'd set that up on a subscription, um, and again, with this, you could have 14 to, to 18 athletes, depending on which sport you're in. They're from one team. They're all training with you on a set day, set time throughout the week. And again, with this, you're able to generate more revenue by working less, right? I remember at the peak when I was doing a lot of team training, I had, there was probably around eight teams that I was working with. And it, it was very simple for me. I had set days, set times of our sessions, and they would bring the whole team, right? Pretty simple, right? And I know I'm saying pretty simple. It's, it's hard work to get there, right? But once you have it set up, it's very simple to manage, right? Very simple to manage. Next one, this is also a monster niche for, for coaches. 
which is, and this is number seven, this is seasonal camps. All right, if you seriously, if you do this action step, that this will help you generate a lot of income uh, over the next year. If you go to uh, Google and you look up for private schools and public schools, all of the holidays that, that are coming up. And if you have that, now you have all the information. Here's when kids are free. Here's when summer break is. Here's when Christmas break is. Here's when Thanksgiving break is. Here's when Columbus Day is. Here's when every single little holiday throughout the year is. And what we do is we build out a camp schedule. So you build that out on your own, right? And you look at, well, how many camps are I gonna run, right? And then from there, you price those out. And then you have to be very good at marketing those camps throughout the year. There's many coaches I know, and I would say especially before COVID hit, like there's many people I've helped. All they do, their whole business is running summer camps. That's it. They're, they're not doing anything in the spring or in the fall. They have a business that was purely based around camps and having you know, a high, a mass volume of kids at camps. And I've helped many coaches who have achieved that Right. And with that, you spend most of the year marketing, right? Most of the year planning. And then you can have a very successful type of camp. Um, and that can be a summer camp. I mean, and that could be a one day camp. You, that doesn't have to be defined just by one uh, type of way of doing it. You can do that a variety of different types of ways. Right. It's another great business model. Um, now, the next three. So number eight, nine and ten. These are for you if you've already, you already have a lot of experience with training. You have a lot of experience helping clients get results. So here's number eight, right? And this is, this is not an outside of the box idea. There's a lot of coaches that are doing this. I'm personally doing this. So this, this is working, right? Which is you want to create a consulting service. Now, here's what I mean by that. This could be you, like, let's say, you know, how to help kids get recruited to get a scholarship, right? That is a consulting service. Parents would absolutely invest into you, into your knowledge, right? And that could be done a variety of different ways. That could be done where it's over the phone, right? That could be done where it's in person. That could be done where it's on Zoom. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter how you do it, right? If you have a way of helping kids get recruited to play in college, right? Think about how valuable it is. Like you're, you're helping parents now save money and you're helping kids leave college without student loans. That's worth hundreds and thousands of dollars, right? It really is. The next example is like nutrition counseling. Now I'm not a nutritionist. I don't do nutrition counseling, uh, with my clients, but you might be, right? That might be something you're really interested in. The next one here, um, is injury prevention. This is this is huge, right? A lot of people who tear, uh, a lot of uh, athletes out there who tear their ACLs or MCLs. Um, and if you have a great way of helping clients stay injury free after that or before that ever happens, again, that's very valuable. Very, very valuable, all right? And the last example here is mindset and confidence coaching. Like, I'm personally doing this with, with kids all over the U.S. right now. Um, and I'm not going to say it's easy. It's absolutely not easy, but I've spent over 12 years at this point in my life understanding how to help kids with their confidence. And I've done that because I started on this list at the top with private online training, ask kids tons of questions. I've talked to parents. I've worked with thousands of people in person, right? So I didn't just start this online thing just, you know, out of left field, right? This was a very calculated type of business decision that I made, right? So again, creating a consulting service is something that you can do from home, right? It's all online if you want it to be, and you're solving a problem, right? This is a very popular niche within sports right now. And, and it's something, especially like when you think about when coronavirus hit, if you're unable to see clients in person, well, online would be the option. And that was a great option for coaches that were in our consulting program during that time. 
because they were able to turn that on and they were able to produce a lot of income during that time because they are solving a very specific type of problem. Number nine, this is way different, right? This is also online, but this is selling, creating and selling online digital products. Now, I have at this point personally, and this is not about me, like I'm trying to help you and show you how to do this, but I have to use this as, as an example. I've created, I believe at this point, I, I need to go double check, but it's around 37 digital products that I've created since like 2014, right? So I've created a lot of different products. Most of those are within soccer. And then, you know, we create a lot of digital products for coaches that are looking to grow their business as well, right? But now here's the thing. Those products are designed to help someone over a 30 day period that they can just do on their own. So it's, it's set up to where you create it, right? You're solving a problem. People can buy it and have access to that. Once they have access to it, it's theirs. They are responsible for using it. So they get the results, right? And I could give you so many different examples. I think if I can just show you, all right, if you just hit the pause video and you go to uh, YouTube, if you're on YouTube watching this right now, you'll be able to see this. You can go look up onlinesoccerskills.com. That is a channel, it's a completely separate channel that I have on here and I haven't uploaded a video in a long time on there but like that channel every single day like probably like right around um, I think at this point 92,000 subscribers right so every single day people all around the world are consuming content that I've already produced those videos have been there for a long time right that will continue to get views that will continue to get people to get on my email list to where I can sell them my digital products that I have. And again, took a long time to build, but it's absolutely possible. A lot of people are doing that sort of stuff right now. Um, a lot of people in, in all sports. So if you try to do that, you're not going to be the first one in your sport who's done it. I can promise you. There's a lot of people who've already done that. They've already achieved that. So selling online digital products, I think is awesome because it's set up to where once you build it, it's finished. And it just comes down to marketing. And like, for example, uh, this happened over July 4th. I have a big email list that I've created through the hard work that I've put in, right? And because of that, I, I wrote a, a very simple email. It took me about 45 seconds to write, okay? That email got sent to like around 7,000 parents and kids from around the world, right? I went on a walk, I, I went on a hike with my wife, we came back two hours later, I generated around, it was around, I think $800 in sales, right? That was from one email that I sent. Now, is that possible? Yeah, I mean, I did it. I mean, if my email was better, I probably could have generated <laughs> more income doing that. If I had a bigger list than that, I would have done better. If I had a much smaller list, probably couldn't have done as well, All right? But you can see through hard work and putting in the time, you can, create a channel, you can create a following, you can create an email list. Uh, and online digital products is a great way to do it because what you are doing is you are streamlining what is up here and you're packaging it together and you are looking to sell it. Then number 10, right? This is something I'm seeing a lot of coaches do right now and I love helping coaches set this up. And what I call it, it's online critique coaching. I just made that up, all right? But essentially, this is what it is, all right? And I'm gonna use this as a very simple example. And I'll give you two examples. So let's say I'm a soccer coach, which I am, and I want to help kids shoot the ball harder with more accuracy, all right? What I can do is I can work with one client and have this set up to where I put them through a program Right? So they're following a program where I want them to shoot the ball and I want them to film themselves shooting and they're going to send it back to me. And when they send it back to me, I can critique them and I can upload it and do a voiceover and coach them on, hey, here's what I want you to do better. You're doing this right now, but we need to be doing this. So I'm giving them hands-on, essentially one-on-one -on -one training, but it's done online. Right? 
there's right now I can count there's seven coaches I'm helping that are doing what I'm talking about right now as we speak. A lot of them are charging between three hundred and five hundred dollars for like per client for this sort of stuff. All right, so that's within soccer. Within basketball, I've seen a lot of coaches do very similar, like like a how to shoot the ball better type of program or how to dribble better. Um, the, these types of things are very common. And how do you get clients online though? Right. Well, you need to start building influence. You need to start building a, a base of followers. You need to start putting yourself out there more. And all of these things are absolutely doable. And if you look at, and, and this is why it's important though, it, you have to look at where are the buyers of these types of programs? Like, are they on Instagram? Yeah, they can be. Are they on YouTube? Yeah, they can be. Like, you have to find your sweet spot. And then you need to hone in on your marketing there, right? And that's why, you know, when I recap these 10, the last three can all be done online. And it all comes down to marketing, right? And the first seven also come down to marketing, right? It's just a different type of marketing because it's, it's all in person, right? So again, I'm going to recap these. I'm going to go real quick. So number one, private one-on-one -on -one training. Number two, two-on-one -on -one training. Number three, Small group training. Number four, open group clinics that are one-off. All right. Number five, open group monthly clinics that are based on a subscription. All right. Number six, independent team training. Number seven, seasonal camps. All right. Number eight, creating a, a consulting service. Number nine, online digital products. Number 10, online critique coaching. That's it for today's video. If you are watching this and you're like, all right, I want help with one of these, all right? I want to scale out with one of these niches. Best thing that you can do is send me a text at 210-960-5771. Right now, there's two ways I can help you. I can help you in our one-on-one -on -one program or I can help you in our group coaching program. Our group coaching program right now, we have two different groups. Uh, we, in, in the last year, have, have helped over 100 coaches now at this point who have been a part of those two programs from eight different countries. So I can give you some assurance here. We know what we're doing. We produce a lot of results with coaches who are serious, who are action takers. These are guys and girls that really put in the work and they want to do this as a full-time career.